You're watching Gotcha Racing TV. Yeah! You know, it's a global economy today. Every company, every country in the world is vying for business and making stuff. This is the country that spawned the Industrial Revolution. Yep. We invented the plane, we yep. invented the car. Henry Ford manufactured cars. We're building this supercar in the United States of America with American steel, American parts, and American labor. We're very proud of it. What up, people? Check it out. I'm chilling with the man with the master plan, David Smith from Factory 5 Racing. How you doing, boss? I'm good. That's the best intro I've had all day. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, dude. So tell me about the GTM, man. Well, this is uh, it's our own design. We made it about two years ago. It took about five years in development. Awesome. Um, maybe we spent close to a million, a million two in development. And uh, we started out making Cobras, you know, Cobra replicas. Yeah. And uh, we want to do our own design. And okay. so this is our interpretation of a supercar. 200 mile an hour, no excuses, badass car. It's, oh man, it's depth to earth, dude. It's down to earth and it's oh, depth to earth. appreciate it, man. You know Thank you very much. We're very proud of it. We've done about 200 units. Um, so we're over $4 million in sales. And uh, this car was built by a customer. He picked the chassis kit up in June and he finished it for the show. No so way. He built it. Yeah, and he's a full-time contractor, so he's working. Yeah, I'll introduce you to him later. That's what's guy. up. Right, thanks. Uh, uh, what, what's in the motor? Well, this is, and, and remember, it's an American, American supercar, gotcha. so we went Corvette power plant. So it's an LS7, in this case, it's an LS6 motor. Mm -hmm. So Corvette running gear, Corvette brakes, um, mm. really, but with a tube frame, carbon body, gotcha. you know, real high performance. About 2,400 pounds, so it's lightweight. You take a Corvette, shave about 1,000 pounds off mm. it, and there you go. Man, so ready pretty much, it's ready to go. Oh, yeah. When Car and Driver tested this thing, mm -hmm. it was 0 to 60 in 3.0 seconds. The third fast car they ever tested. Oh, man. That's yeah. in th dang, three seconds? Yeah, 3.0. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, how'd that, that was feel? That was at the Bonneron School. It was fast. So when you drive it, how do you feel? Well, I have two of them. I drive them home, and, and I, people follow you. You yeah. pull into a gas station. They're like, what is that? Yeah. And they go crazy. Yeah, so it's like, pretty oh, fun. Oh, it's a GTM. Yeah, if you're, if you're on America's Most Wanted, you don't want to drive one. <laughs> you can get away, though. You're like, yeah. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. They'll, get, they'll get you, though. Dang. Yeah. I saw the, yeah, the red one out here, and you also have the green one as well, right? Yeah. Yep, a customer built a green one. The red one's in our booth, and that's registered to me. I drive it on the street, Watch so out. it's a driver. Yeah. You waiting for the last day of Siemens to drive it out, huh? No, we drive it in New England. I like to go out on the highway and look for super bikes because yeah. it's an 11-second, 10-5, 11-second car. So you get up against a super bike. If he's not in the right gear, bang, you drop it and you pull him. It's fun. Dang. You know what? Have you ever decided to take it to the Autobahn and just, just go crazy with it? No, we had it. Uh, Hot Rod Magazine did a top speed challenge. They ran, I don't know, buck sixty in it. They do a standing mile and see how fast you can go. In a quarter mile, it's doing 130. Dang. Yeah, quarter mile, 130. Yep, 130 to 11 seconds. What's yep. the fastest you take it up to? Um, well, I don't know if this is legal to say on camera. No. <laughs> around our, in, in our area, on 195, I'd run it up to 120, 130 when there's no one around early in the morning. But the car will do, gearing wise, 180, 190 easy. Wow. Yeah, it's a serious car. Wow. So what's next to come? Well, we're doing a hot rod. It's a 33 Ford, but it's a full on sports car underneath. So a very similar chassis, two frame steel, made in America, American labor, but really designed as a hot rod sports car. A lot of hot rods today, you get them and you drop the hammer and they get real nervous. Yeah. They don't drive real well. Yeah. The one we're making is a race car with a hot rod body. So, yeah. That's insane. So pretty much it's made, it's pretty made in America and it's ready to go. Yep, made in America. We, we do it. The nice thing is, though, that everything we ship, is a chassis kit. That means the guy's got to build his car. He's got to paint it. He's got to build it. So a lot of guys come and say, hey, how much for that car? And I'm like, can't buy it. Yeah. You got to build it, brother. Yeah. Yeah, you got to build it. And build it yourself. Time. Yep. And I think customer Gary Cheney built this one. Uh, the one. That green one up front, that was built by a customer too. Man, so pretty much they build their cars and drive their cars. Yep. It's, you know, it's, in America, there's a very strong hot rodding culture. It started after World War II. Guys came back from World War II. Their parents had an old 30s Ford. And that's all they had. They had no money, and they started souping it up and making it go faster, right? That's all we're doing. We're taking parts, and guys are building it and making fast cars. Dang. So it's a very American heritage. Dang. You know, yeah, right it, when they build it themselves and drive themselves, it feels a lot more appreciative, you know? Oh, yeah. You know what? I mean, it sounds kind of cheesy, but a guy that builds his own car, it's like when you have children, you put yourself into your kids, and you raise your family. You build a car yourself, and it has so much more meaning. You go out to a dealership, and you buy a, a Honda or something. Nothing wrong with it, but it's an appliance. Yeah. It does it, it's a toaster oven. Yeah, yeah. You get a good price on it, but when you build it yourself, you pick your color, your yep. wheels, your, it's custom and it's yours and it's your way of saying this is what I think is right about the world. It's, it's your car. Absolutely. And that's what SEMA is about. That's what this whole industry does. And that's what Factory 5 Racing is about. Right on, brother. Straight out. Right on. I want to appreciate your time. Thanks a lot, Dave, for coming out and man. Hey, thanks. Definitely. A lot of fun. Thank you, man. Yeah, you're welcome. One love.